What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and I am out here with Youth Man at MWIV 2022. Oh, yeah. We are going to be checking out Grant's home theater. Yeah. And this is a RTJ or JTR setup, and he has some killer room treatment. So I can't wait to show you guys this theater. Let's go! It is a little more aggressive in the way that it brings um, sounds up. <laughs> Was that two channel or was that, that was two channel? Okay, yeah, so that's two point one. So that didn't that your center channel was not correct. Just to make sure this there's good. There, yeah. You know, what, one of the things that I like about my setup is I do think it has good imaging. Um, I have my right and left channels a little you know wider than spec. I do like the a little additional sound stage that I think it gives me. Um, just the speakers themselves are really good. But yeah, I mean, I think you got, you know, the point that it has, yeah. you have good imaging. You can hear the phantom imaging coming from there. There is no speaker there. No, but it you did can well. That's why I was, that's what I was asking. Asking. Yeah, you bet. And I have, so I have the manual masking panels that are magnetic for this Seymour screen. And they've been rocking since 2012 and they do a right, really great job. I just switched myself. Um, you know, as you see there, when I want to switch modes, I use a zoom method. When I go two, three, five, and just put the panels right there, works really well. Um, so it's 110 inch wide, two, three, five native, and Seymour AV screen and Neo, in lighter Neo fabric. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had the EN4K fabric originally. And I, I would encourage you to keep searching for your fabric of choice because there is a big difference. And uh, I really appreciate the brighter whites that the Inlighter Neo has uh, versus my EN4K. And um, I actually really like, um, you know, so, like some of the DIY fabrics that are out there, but my front row is, I'm only nine feet from the screen. Mm -hmm. And so I can kind of just start to make out some of the, some of the you know, the weave and, and some of those things, but this is very fine. And Do I, you ever notice that with it, like content? Cause people ask me that all the time. Cause I have the center stage XD. Yeah. And they say, hey, can't you see the weave? Right. Number one, I'm slightly visually impaired, Right. but can you see it in like real world content? Do you ever notice it then or just only yeah. when it's just So I've had off? samples here and um, the, the thing is the, you, first of all, I can only see it in like a uniform color screen. So like a perfect example would be the Art of Flight demo where it's right. just a bunch of snow sure, and it's just white, white and you can see it. Okay. And then also right around where I am, this is actually kind of where it disappears for me. So gotcha. like if I would have put my head forward, I'd be like, oh, I can really make it out. Mm -hmm. And then here I can barely make it out if I try. Mm -hmm. And then if I go back to here, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Or even here it's yeah. gone for me. Yeah. It probably depends on your eyesight. So Chris, yeah. what is y'all's recommendation on or for Evan on that distance as far as when you can physically see that? It, it's different for everybody because okay. their acuity and yeah, their, 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 see crap. their details are different. <laughs> <laughs> We've got mixing studios that are that are using the Neo across a mixing console, so gotcha. that's about four feet. Wow! So in effect, in practice, we say there's no limited uh, minimum seating nice. distance. Okay. Um, and then that XC that you have, we like to get people about. 10, 11 yeah, feet yeah, back, yeah. so sure about there. But yeah. man, I got people at eight feet that are yeah. happy with it, but I wouldn't be. Right. Um, but then I got people at 14 feet that they're like, you know, I can see something. And you, you can do that if you want to. I mean, it's like, <laughs> wow, you have to get right up there, you know, to be able to see. But that's only an issue on acoustic uh, transparent, right? If it's not acoustic transparent, the weave is never visible, right? Well, there isn't a weave, It is right? a weave, yeah. yeah. So it'd be yeah. a solid sheet of okay. something. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that. The screen, it's a solid screen. In front, I actually have a speaker fabric in front of the JTRs, and then I have velvet on the sides. Okay. And that I have uh, those Royal Velvet and Fidelio, and I use both of those from like 
Joann's or whatever. And there is actually a difference between them. And I was, yeah, I when, when I looked at them, I was afraid like, oh no, I, you know, I, cause I ran out of one and used the other. Luckily in real world situation, I can't tell. If yeah. I've scrutinized it, I can hey, tell. Sure. But then like, when just like, sitting there yeah. with the lights out, then I can't tell, thank goodness. Which one's blacker? I, which one's blacker? Uh, you have to, I can't remember. You look at my, <laughs> you don't my, my, yeah. my thread has it in there. I did a comparison. What, so, what should you have? You have Fidelio and what? It's Royal the 3, Royal, I forget what it's called. It's been so like, the frame is Fidelio if you want to see what that is. That's yeah, the frame oh, yeah. looks You're black. Yeah. yeah, the frame right. looks really black. A lot of times right. they look the same and then you shine you flash you know your camera or yeah. just a bright light uh -huh. and then you can see uh, a difference in, in fidelio yeah. and another one if you don't have direct like light right on it then it is harder to tell the difference so what you'll probably notice is that the the velvet that's around the sides because i i did a black velvet out sorry excuse me oh, you're like you know from here on and i i did velvet then here because i was getting some reflection mm -hmm. on here and uh, that is where I where I mix and match some velvets. And then I noticed like, oh no, it's different. Am I gonna be able to tell? Well, thankfully, not unless you're shining the right light right on it, can you really, it's not really sure. that distracting. Do you notice as the velvet runs across, the lighting at different angles changes the black <coughs> level across the velvet? Um, I don't notice that on reflection. I don't notice it as, as the screen's reflecting light on it. I probably would notice it if I was shining a light again, like directly on it. What's your floor? You have a subfloor of wood? Okay. So it's, it it's a concrete pad, and then I have 3 8 serenity mat, and then <coughs> carpet. And What's again, a serenity mat? It, it is basically just a uh, rubber-like okay. mat product. Okay. That's like, it's a sound product, and um, it's a, supposed to help reduce, you know, vibrations and give uh, everything a kind of a solid okay. stance and an and even <laughs> acoustic surface. Uh, to... Is it a pretty hard rubber? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's a hard rubber lay underlayment. <laughs> Guys, that is a wrap on Grant's theater room. What'd you think, Youth Man? It's phenomenal, and Grant really focused on room treatments. A lot of people don't see that that's a value, but once you treat the room, Huge. it's a massive difference oh my in gosh. the detail. We the try clarity. to tell our customers every day how I'm important sorry. they are, and it doesn't always get through. Absolutely. So I'm glad we were able to make this video. Yeah, so that should give you an opportunity to kind of see how much room treatments matter. Oh my God, huge, guys. If you do not have room treatments with Tons of our customers do not because, you know, there's only so much in the budget. Yeah. You gotta reach out and talk with my specialist. We can go over all the things from absorption, diffusion, base traps. All of these things are extremely important to maximizing the potential of your system. So reach out today and share your support. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.